These 74 deck lids are getting harder and harder to find. So what I can save, I save. This one's been worked on the, bed, the other side a little bit. It's the same process. The heavy rust is taken off first and then we'll put the phosphoric acid on it. Surprise, the cheap uh, eBay um, drum sander with the red uh, drum did even a better job than my air tool or wire tool on a large flat surface. It really kicked butt. It really took off all that heavy rust really fast. Did a great damn job. I guess, I guess having such a wide swath that makes it so quick. It was just a no-brainer to do it this way. Now that I removed all the heavy rust, I'm going to spray this down with phosphoric acid. And then we'll find out when it's totally dry, what it looks like. You want to put a nice heavy coat on. And then we'll see when it's all nice and dry, the difference between the two. We'll see, there's a dent right there. Look at that. That's not nice. That's going to have to be repaired. There's a dent right there. And it looks like somebody pushed down on this deck lid. Another thing about putting fluid on top of things, you can find the dents really easy. Trying to get this 74 deck lid, 74 charger. And there's a whole bunch of filler here because this whole panel, they welded this whole panel over the old panel and they folded it over on the edges and they also didn't do a continuous weld through here. I mean, it's just what novices do. They don't understand. You can't, you can't just put spot weld and then put putty on top and think it's going to be good. It's not going to be good. That's why you have all this cracking. And of course they buggered the crap out of the lock itself. The lock itself didn't fit right in there. So I'm going to take all the all of this stuff out, all of this filler out. Because they double welded it. Now it's got another panel, which is the original panel, inside here. But this is on top of here. Which makes no sense. If you're gonna if you're gonna weld it in. You might as well cut along that line and weld all the way across. Of course, you're going to have to be a, a talented welder to do that, but that's what it takes. And this is the Baxter Harbor Freight geared sander with 40 grit on it. And I'm going to have the fan backing me up and throwing everything outside. After removing all the bond, uh, you see that uh, horror that's behind this. Didn't even weld it continuous weld. Didn't even spot weld it enough to where each weld is connected to the other. You just put the panel right on top of the other panel. No problem. That'll work. Could have used some Dynaglass at least to at least waterproof the seam. No, let's just put regular Bondo in there. It doesn't really matter. As you can see, look at that, look at that hole. Let's fill that with Bondo, how about that? Let's do that. I got this whole thing for free, so it's not a big deal. But if you were to purchase this car, and you were to find this, would you be pissed off? Look at this. Just slap the piece right on top. Don't worry about it. It'll work. Put all the Bondo you can, smooth it as best, and send it. No problem. See, this is why people get bad, you know, reps, because they do stuff like this. You know, I understand, these are hard to find. The third generation charger, 
truck lids are getting harder and harder to find and in good condition is even harder but there's no reason to butcher the damn thing this bad and if I, I can use it I can probably fix it so I'll just put it in phosphoric acid and store it away but beware this is what's out there